So I, I do TV pathogenesis work, and what we're really trying to figure out, which is um, something which the bird really depends on a lot, is the bird's ability to go off to sleep. So TB is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, and it becomes dormant or goes off to sleep. Uh, and a lot of people have tried to figure out why and how this bacteria goes off to sleep. And this new project that we're doing is actually going to allow us to look at the same thing, but using a completely new method. Um, most people, what they do is they kill the, so they infect the animal with TB and then they kill the animal and mostly work is done post-mortem. So um, what we're trying to do is that we're trying to kind of get a movie, you know, and see this animal uh, in real time when it's infected with, with TB. And, um, and, and so our, it, it's just a very new method for looking at both the host, which is the the TB infected animal and the bacteria and, and you know the term used is the host bacterial kinetics and so we're going to use that we're going to look at that but using a completely different method in using imaging uh, and kind of get a movie out of it and that will help us try to figure out um, uh, one you know how the bacteria and, and why the bacteria go off to sleep and also where the bacteria are sleeping or where they're dormant in the animal. So, so understanding pathogenesis is kind of the first key step in trying to understand how you can develop best or better uh, vaccines and, 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 and treatments for TB. And so this, this uh, fundamental understanding will hopefully allow us to, to develop better treatments and um, so anti-TB treatments, which means antibiotics, uh, as well as trying to develop better vaccines. So, so uh, um, the, the interesting thing about this bacteria is that you know it infects people, and then it can go into this dormancy or this sleep state for years, for decades, and 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 this becomes a big reservoir for subsequent infection. So there's a chance for people who have the bacteria sleeping for the bacteria to wake up and actually cause active disease, and then of course they can spread it to other people. But you know, just to just to let you know, the the volume or the sheer magnitude, one third of the world's population, two billion people, are latently infected with this sleeping bacteria. So it's a huge load of of uh, of people who uh, can um, subsequently cause disease if their bacteria reactivate and are out of the sleeping state. So, so this award is very, very important. I mean, this is a time when the funding is not that easy to get. And um, this award will really help us um, um, continue our research on using this very novel method, which is the imaging, to figure out what is happening in real time inside the animal uh, and, and understand TB pathogenesis. So this is a relatively new field, trying to understand infection and, and you know, using imaging, it's been, imaging has been used more extensively in the oncology world. So, so this award is very, very important for us to continue doing this. Uh, and, you know, new technologies take time to develop. It's not, oh, well, you know, I have this idea and tomorrow, you know, I have it working. And so this award is for five years, which I think is time appropriate for being able to get something done and to develop something which is going to be hopefully robust and will give us some answers which will help us um, solve this problem. Um, so if I can put it in, in, in a nutshell, this is, was very, this is a, it's a great honor, but it's also a very important award in terms of we needed it. We needed this money to be successfully be able to do this study, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do it.